I'll tell you all about it. That was real good. That was like, that was money, first of all. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Knight and this is The Real Review 3000 coming to you again with another trailer reaction and today it is on Gemini Man. Yes, uh, Gemini Man is coming out on October 11th. It stars Will Smith and uh, I guess it stars him and him. Basically older and younger. I guess they aged him up a little bit and de-aged him quite a bit from what I've heard. Um... You know, it, it brings up an interesting question of what they can do with this technology. I mean, we know CGI has done a lot. Originally, it started with uh, things like uh, Back to the Future 2, where they would do this, uh, where they put Michael J. Fox up on the screen three different times, and that was a big step forward in technology. Um, you know, they've, they've done the face of Carrie Fisher as a young Carrie Fisher in Rogue One, uh, Grand Moff talk, Talkin', um, where he was in that whole thing. That was all CGI. That was amazing, if you ask me. Um, Paul Walker's face in Fast and Furious 7, I believe. So with this new CGI advancements and all that, we're getting closer and closer to doing things like bringing back people who were dead, like Marilyn Monroe, and putting them in movies. Find a voice actor that sounds like her, or cut up old audio and clean it up and you could have you know thousands of words in a you know in a file that you can make a whole movie out of it i mean that's the, probably where it's heading i mean i'm not sure but you know i'm excited for that there's morality questions of course when you bring back uh, actors who are now dead and try to get them to act that's what you got in uh, rogue one uh so Peter Cushing was uh, dead, and so they had to ask his family, can we do this? And if they continue to do things like that, they will have to do that more and more. But um, it, it, it's kind of an exciting way Hollywood could go. But back to Gemini, man. Um, really looking forward to this movie. Uh, I've heard a lot about it. Uh, I know it's an action flick, but I'm really looking forward to having this Will Smith, Will Smith on screen thing. And, uh, you know, I'll have to see what it looks like and how good this CGI aging and de-aging looks. So let's look at it together right now. We're going to put on the headphones. <clears throat> oh yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on over to the trailer screen. And here we go. Three, two, one, reaction. Tell me something. Why is it so hard for you to kill this man? He knew every move of mine before I made it. Well, from the side, it looks really good. I'd have him right there to take the shot. Wow. And he'd be gone like a ghost. Well, <laughs> it almost looks like uh, when he was like, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's like, who is he? That's amazing, right there. I mean, just the cleanness of it. I'd love to see a behind the scenes on how this works, and then having them on screen together, right there. I mean, like I said, Back to the Future Two helped that along. That's amazing. I mean, if they have a fight sequence or something crazy. together, that would be even crazier. You. Twenty-five years ago, they made you from me. And I saw Jerry Bruckheimer. They chose me because there's yep, never Yep, Jerry Bruckheimer is the producer. He does a lot of good stuff. So hey, you know, we have to that'd be awesome. Right now. Oh yeah, I see right there. Fighting scenes. I mean, I'm not sure how they would go about it, but that's that's right there. Looks really cool. You made a person out of another person. And so it looks like this uh, guy right here is trying to clean up his mess by sending the younger self. You made a choice to do this to me and i guess maybe if he's like a clone struggling with it's fear embrace it and then overcome it hmm. of all the people in the world to come after me why would he send you hmm. well, i mean yeah well you know <clears throat> I, I will say this um, it looks really good 
looks like a typical action film. Um, and I like a lot of the stuff that will smith does i mean he's not the greatest actor in the world but he's solid he's solid about how he does things he picks good roles for him as an actor which is important in today's hollywood scene um again you know you can talk about race bending you can talk about you know race swapping all this stuff i'm not thinking about will smith's race in this movie i'm looking at the movie and i'm like this looks like a good movie and his race has nothing to do with it. It's the fact that he seems to fit this character really well. And he seems to, you know, it looks like he'll be able to play this character in a believable manner, whatever that might be. Um, that's really important. And unfortunately, too often, you know, you, you find people that, you know, when they go and redo a movie, they want to race swap and stuff like that. Obviously, that's not the case here. But, um, you know, I really like Will Smith in these types of roles, this, you know, man versus the world type of role. And uh, I'm excited for this. So, guys, um, if you're excited about it, let me know down in the comments. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when we're coming out with new stuff. Uh, you know, we're always looking for more subs. Don't forget that we also have a website that you can go to. That website is chaoscentral.com. Check that out. Great articles and geek culture and all that again always looking for more subs we appreciate all you subs out there that have already subbed because it's because of you that we are where we're at today so with that said everybody have a nice day hey guys thanks for checking us out be sure to subscribe to both channels and make sure to check out our friends in the fandom minutes you can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and BitChute. And you can also send us an email at sean at seanstackhousereacts.com and Chris Knight at therealreview3000.com. Be sure to swing by our Teespring store to pick up some awesome merchandise.